Coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was down at the 2022 World of Wheels Birmingham, and Goolsby Customs had the 2022 Good Guys Giveaway truck, a 1985 Chevrolet C10 I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Jonathan, how you been, brother? Good, buddy. How you been doing? Awesome. Getting ready to start uh, 2022 out. Yes, we are. Here in Birmingham. World of Wheels. Yep. That's right. And uh, Goolsby Customs has brought a cool pickup truck. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, this is our uh, good guy's giveaway vehicle named Genie. Really? Yep. You're going to give this away? I'm giving it away. I'm going to put many miles on it before I have to, though. Yeah, 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 right. How long do you get to keep it before you have to give it away? As um, soon as I build it, I get to keep it for you know roughly a year um, through the whole show season of uh, the year pri previous. And then uh, July uh, Columbus show, good guys, we give it away. What do you have to do to win that thing, do you know? Uh, if you're registered at a show, um, you put your ticket in a bucket, and if they pull you out, your name out of the bucket, then you're a finalist. And we'll bring you to Columbus, and I uh, give you a key, and if your key cranks it, oh, you drive it home. Oh, that's how it works. Yeah, I forgot about yep, that. Yep. Up in front of everybody, everybody. at the award ceremony. Yep. Uh, it's like five or six people that get keys or um, something, no? We have a finalist at every show, so okay. it's about 18 people, and then we'll do a couple finalists off of the internet. Oh, wow. So, yeah, we'll bring them all in there, line them up, they pull a key out of the hat, and go down the line. Boy, somebody's going to be happy with this. Tell me what you did to it. This, uh, you know, we started out as a long wheelbase truck, um, got, a, got with LMC, they gave us a new bed for it, chassis, um, set it all down on there to get a good stance, spare brakes, uh, built specialties, did a nice 20-22 uh, combo on it. BASF come up with this nice color combo for us. Got with uh, advanced plating. They did all the bright work on it, inside and out. If you step inside, then we've got um, more guys leather, Kato's uh, custom upholstery. They did everything in there. Spark uh, come out with this new steering wheel that looks just like the OE style. This all machine, so uh, they helped us out on that. Dakota Digital gauges. We got Pace Performance. Did uh, the LT1 for it. That's been cammed and big heads put on it, so it's got a healthy little heart yeah, to it. Sounds uh, good. Gearstar did a um, transmission for it, and like I said, um, CNR with a you know cooling system on it, vintage air. I mean, so you didn't have to do much to do, right? Just put I'm it together. Telling you, it, this stuff like this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for everybody in the industry. And um, you can find this on our website, and all the people that you know helped out on it. And there's a you know all the guys at the shop they you know pitched in, and um, a lot of uh, a lot of people make this stuff happen. Yeah. And you mentioned a lot of sponsors that provided parts, but you were the one that put the parts on. <laughs> Let's not forget that. Goolsby's Custom did a lot. You make it sound like, hey, you know, all these people did all this for me, and it was easy on my part. But you did a lot of work on this truck. Yeah, good guys gave us the vehicle, and then, um, you know, I do a lot. I do all the paint and body work on it. So some of the guys helped out here and there when they could, but I got to keep them going on uh, customer vehicles since this is a giveaway. Right. And uh, it gives me something to piddle with, and you know they help out here and there, and then uh, we all pitch in and just make stuff like this happen. Because people don't know, so they know, and because mm -hmm. they wouldn't know when good guys are NSRA, either one of them, yep. they pick a shop. Yep. They come to you and say, do you want to build the giveaway car? Right. They hand you a list of people that might help you yep. and send you on your way. Yep. They uh, give us a list of sponsorships, and we have people that we deal it with, too. And uh, they, here's the vehicle, and um, it's pretty much just a labor of love, you know? Yeah. You know? But all the labor and stuff, they don't reimburse for any of that No, stuff. that's just all on us, and we get the publicity out of it. Plus, right on. you know, I get it done sooner. The sooner I get it done, I get to drive it more. Right, right. No, oh, very cool. What What is the actual color you used on it? The uh, Actually, the, the blue is... A stock color from back in the 80s the white is also and the orange is a custom mix that we did for it so it's as basic as basic as it was back then it's just blue metallic it looks good man. <laughs> now that I'm, I'm taking for granted that separator stripe is painted on yes all of it's painted yeah, yeah. and that was my big uh i know it's a giveaway and everybody feels like you need to um you know not go all out on it but that was my one deal was I knew if I didn't paint that, the first thing somebody's gonna do is come up and feel and see if they are painted. Right. So I had to paint it. And you told me earlier when we were talking, you had in mind building yourself a truck a lot like this one. This is it. And we've been so busy at the shop that um, I've always wanted one of these and it happening probably is, won't happen anytime soon. So if I could build this one like it was mine, then that was my opportunity. Right on. 
So whoever wins this knows that this is a good, solid truck. It this, wasn't built as a giveaway. It was built as kind of Jonathan's dream truck. That's, you know, that's that he it. got roped into building yep. <laughs> in a time when he didn't need to build it. This is uh, pretty much my personal truck right now. And you say this is where it rides. That's a ride height. It's on coilovers, and uh, we've got uh, a little over 2,000 miles on it now, and it's you know it's been hitting the roads pretty hard. Tell me, you tell me some road trips, because I know everybody's going to be like, you can't drive that thing. Tell me a couple of road trips. I've, I've drove it to uh, Shades of the Past. Um, from Alabama. From Alabama, and then I went to a um, street truck show-off series in Georgia. Um, I know good guys had it, and they drove it from, uh, say, Pleasanton, Pleasanton, California, to Scottsdale. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's road it's worthy. It's got miles yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah. That's the part of it. They need to be driven. Right on. And what kind of work do you have to do on that bed? The bed, we um, end up stepping it up for the notch for the coilovers, and we brought everything up on the wheel tubs. But I wanted to kind of keep it just like it was OE, so we just did all the metal work to keep it look like uh, it was all original and just with a big notch in it. And then you what, finished it in satin? Satin, but we did a, a tenable bed liner, so it actually matches the color. And uh, it's got that texture just like it was a spray and bed liner. Oh, no kidding. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then you just kept it simple up under the hood? Kind of. <laughs> um, we actually, once we put the uh, chassis under it, had it this low, we ended up having to cut the inner fenders, um, t mini tub those, and then we did a whole engine bay on it, all out of aluminum, um, covered the radiator, did an air box for it. Kind of an OE feel, but a custom look to it also. Right. And so people know again, what to be clear, you cut the heck out of that engine compartment. It's a lot of cutting to get it to sit this low, drive this low, and have that look. But uh, it's the things you got to do to get the look. Right on. No, it's all about that, right? It's all about aesthetics in our business. It's got to look cool. Oh, yeah. I tell people it, doesn't, it may not be reliable, it may not be comfortable, but it's cool. Yeah, you could have this in primer and you'd still be looking cool. That's right. C10s, put wheels on them, get the stance right, and roll it. That's maybe. it. That's it. Yeah. No, very cool. Anybody we're forgetting we need to give a shout out to? Oh, there's a, there's a ton of them. I know I'm probably skipping a few of them, but um, definitely uh, give good guys a look out. Check our website out. Look at all the people that um, pitched in to make this stuff happen for all of us. And uh, if anything, shoot them an email or you know, even on their social media, just tell them thank you because uh, if it weren't for them, stuff like this wouldn't happen. No, that's very cool. And I appreciate when they go on these other sites and say, hey, I saw this kind of stuff yeah, DTV. Exactly. You know, yep. That gives me credibility, exactly. too. Yep. So, yeah, guys, get out there, share the video. Go over to these sponsors. Go by GoolsbyCustoms.com. Yeah, GoolsbyCustoms.com. And we're uh, Goolsby Customs through all the social media sites. Facebook and all that. Yeah, everything. Check it out. See who the sponsors are. Those are good companies to work with. And then go by their sites and say, hey, you saw it on Scotty DTV. Very cool of you to do that for us. Exactly. Now, brother, again, man, I always appreciate seeing you. <laughs> <laughs> and the time you give me. Thanks, John. No, I appreciate everything, buddy. So there you go. From the 2022 World of Wheels Birmingham, the 1985 Chevrolet C10 2022 Good Guys Giveaway Truck built by Goolsby Customs. How cool is that? Oh, yeah. Its name is Jen. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.